how you compose your image on camera can convey a lot of emotion and information. It's important to be intentional with how you frame your subject and make sure that the image you capture tells the story that you want to tell. We'll talk about the conventions of framing and how to tell your story with images. When people first get on camera, there is a tendency to frame a subject in the middle of the screen, composed in a medium wide shot. This shot tells a particular story and is really unconventional. To tell a different story, here's some examples. The first thing to consider when framing your shot is using the rule of thirds. Imagine a grid, two vertical lines and two horizontal lines creating a grid over your shot. Placing objects on these intersecting lines calls attention to them. It catches your eye and really draws you into the scene. Also, when focusing on someone's face, be sure to leave enough nose room for the subject if they are looking off screen. It provides the right type of empty space, enough for us to catch that there's an eye line. Providing space behind their head, like this, looks unnatural, almost as if calling attention to it. It's not really conventional and there's no information being gained here. The composition of a shot is important, as it shows what kind of emotion you wish to convey. A close-up conveys closeness, emotional weight, and depth, while a wide shot conveys solitude, loneliness, and a sense of scale. The type of shot you use should convey the emotion you want the audience to feel in that particular moment. Shot size is also a compromise. Do you get close to show detail, or wide to show context? These are just as important as the emotional weight you're trying to convey. Shot angles are also extremely important. A low angle can convey intimidation or the subject being powerful, while a high angle can show the subject being diminutive and show weakness or sadness. To make your shot look more dynamic, you can add things to the actual set to make it pop. Perspective lines leading back to the subject can make your shot more interesting and always calls attention to your subject. These can be as obvious as train tracks or as subtle as a counter's edge. But if you plan properly, you can always make them lead back to your subject. One last note, try and use your feet to zoom in rather than the camera. Don't be afraid of placing your camera closer to your subject. The closer you place it, the more range you get and the more emotion you can convey. Use or break these rules with intent and know that there are almost infinite ways to frame and compose your shot. Be creative. This will help guide you through every visual canvas you paint in your world from photography to typography and of course film and video. Thanks for watching.